What's up, y'all? I am your sovereign woman. Welcome back to my channel. So, in light of this whole Kiki Palmer situation, everybody's been giving their, uh, putting their two cents in and giving their, um, their opinions on the whole situation, the red flags, and who's the victim, and who should have known better, and all this other bullshit, right? Um, I believed Kiki Palmer the very first moment she's ever said anything i've never known her to be a liar in the 20 some years that she's been in this business um so let's just get that out the way to give what i have noticed and seen over the years especially growing up the possible signs that a man is going to be abusive um I've compiled these thoughts off the top of my head because I've seen this type of stuff growing up. And I've been around men all my life. I've sort of kind of studied them to some degree. Um, when I was a teenager, I used to like being around men, like, a lot. I was always around men because I was so fascinated with the things that they talked about and the things they found funny and all of that. When I was 16 years old, like I wanted to write a book called Why Do Married Men Cheat? So you guys need to understand like how long I've been on this train of trying to decipher the male psychology and, you know, the bullshit, the, the good things, the bad things about men, blah, 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 right? This is what I've seen, okay? And I put it on my iPad because I, I wanted to... Um, I sat there and I thought about it and I'm like, okay, these are the things that I know are signs of that a guy is going to be abusive. So I got it here so I can keep my thoughts organized, right? So these are the signs that I've picked up on um, throughout the years and the things that I pay attention to as it pertains to guys. The first thing on the list is I'm going to say love bombing, okay? Now, love bombing in and of itself doesn't necessarily have to be a sign of abuse, but love bombing is very often a manipulative tactic in its infancy like fundamentally it's manipulative there are situations where a guy may really feel like he feels all these wonderful ways about you and you are so incredible and blah 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 and the love bombing really could just be his true feelings that is very possible however in this day and age dealing with these males of this time i'm going to tell you that 99 percent of the time this is just my opinion love bombing is a manipulative tactic okay um they love bomb you because they're looking to use you for something there's something that they think they can get out of you a place to stay a car to drive these are the basic things that i've seen growing up in the hood um constant sex right there is you know they love bomb you because they're trying to get something out of you now the reason why i would segue love bombing into a possible sign of abuse is because manipulative men in my opinion, the fundamental prerequisite of being abusive is being manipulative. So if they love bombed you and made you think they were all in love for a place to stay, for an example, and then some things happen and you say you got to get out, a lot of times that is when women are either beaten or hit for the first time, verbally attacked for the first time, or maybe even unalived. Because he loved bombed you to get into your house uh, or to use your car or whatever. And then f something happens. You want to cut him off. You want to put him out. You want to tell him he can't drive the car no more or whatever. And then next thing you know, he's going oops upside your head. So I just say it's not ne it's more of a yellow flag than I would say a red flag for love bombing. But it can very easily segue into abuse. And I just want you guys to just kind of think about that. Um, if they are jealous and possessive huge red flag um especially early on in the love bombing stage or the uh so-called honeymoon stage the jealousy and possessiveness the more you have sex with them the more you have a you have babies with them y'all live together and all this other stuff the more access you give to this man the more he's gonna feel like you're his property especially if you get married especially if you have a baby they will just start being very possessive and jealous and this is the sign that we all saw with Darius and Kiki when she wore that dress to Usher's concert or whatever 
Now, I think a lot of us saw this. I know for a fact I did. My first thought was, he's jealous. It doesn't get better from here. That's, that was my first thought. I, I didn't know that the abuse was going on. I didn't know what was... I didn't know. But I've been in situations where guys were jealous about clothes that I was wearing. And rather than hit me, they would like punch a hole in the wall and stuff like that. And I always knew to get out. Um, I know to get out. Uh, if, if a guy calls me out my name, which I'm going to get into that next, because if they're jealous, if they're possessive, and if they're calling you out your name, I can almost assure you that a punch to the face or a kick in the ribs or a choke slam or whatever is right around the corner. Abuse always starts out verbally, um, uh, emotionally, mentally, things like that before it graduates to physically most of the time. The vast majority of the time it starts out that way. And if you keep forgiving men after they call you out your name, which is the next thing, name calling. Oh, well, fuck you then, bitch. Oh, skeezer. You this, you that. You from the streets. I use skeezer because I was from back in the day, but that's what my dad used to call everybody. <laughs> but um, the, the name calling. Like, I was in a relationship with, with a guy, the same person, and he called me a bitch for the first time. And in that moment, we were together for about four years, at the, going on four years at this time. And in that moment, I knew I had to break up with him because he called me a bitch. And people were like, you're really going to break up with him because he called you a bitch. Sometimes these things happen. People say stuff that they don't mean, blah, 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 blah. He was just upset. I'm of the belief that people show you exactly how they feel about you when they're drunk and when they're mad. It, they, they was harboring those feelings in their heart in their minds this whole time and it took for them to be drunk or angry to bring it out if that was the first thing out of your mouth when you get mad at me that was already on your conscience that was already sitting on the back burner waiting to be expressed that's the way i see it so now i gotta leave because if i stay the bitches are going to get more and more volatile the names are going to get worse you're going to go from fuck you bitch to bitch to fuck you bitch right it's just gonna get worse and worse and next thing you know he's gonna be going oops upside your head i got out before it got to that and my mom always told me that my mom i watched my mom be abused i watched just about every woman in my family almost get abused in one way or another they got their asses beaten a lot there are women in my family right now whose husbands are beating their ass and they don't know that we know i know the signs and when he got when when darius got mad at kiki about that dress i knew i said it's not going to get any better from here i don't know what's gonna happen i wanted her to break up in my mind i was like she need to break up with him now that's in my mind but that was me not even knowing that this had been going on for a while but in my mind just seeing that snapshot i cannot i'm gonna tell y'all something i cannot stand a jealous possessive man the moment i see any hint of jealousy and it's not like a healthy jealousy it's like i don't want you wearing that oh you can't do this oh i don't want you going over and they really get upset I, it's an instant turn off for me because i already know where that leads to okay so so far we have love bombing jealousy possessiveness name calling play fighting is another one uh, a lot of people like to argue about the play fighting thing so the thing about play fighting is males typically have a lot of aggression pent up in them like ever since adolescence ever since they were a kid they hit puberty um, you know, they get to middle school, high school, they become men. A lot of times to offset that, people will put their sons in sports like basketball or football or baseball or something, boxing, something to channel that frustration and anger. If you're with a man who likes to play fight, he uh, needs something or someone or whatever to take all that pent up frustration out on. They do it in the form of playing but a lot of times they will do it with the woman to see what they can get, see how far they can go. They want to see how far they can get away. See, when men want to play fight, they should go play fight with other men. Go play fight with your your, your favorite cousins or your homie, y'all arm wrestle and do all this other shit. You know, play basketball together. You should never play fight with 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 your woman. Like that's always just been very weird to me. And the the one the one thing that I've noticed over the years is that the play fighting always ends up turning serious. Um, and sometimes a woman can say, hey, that hurt. Or, hey, that was a little too aggressive. And then they'll just, like, blow it off. Like, oh, you're being too sensitive or you're weak. 
Now, this may not be that big of an issue if you express to them that this bothers you and you don't really like it and they stop. Okay, they, they check themselves. They're like, okay, yeah, you're right. I don't want to hurt you. I, 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 I quit, right? And they stop and they don't do it anymore. That could, be a, that could be a cool thing. That's fine. But if they continue to play, if they continue to do pranks on you, if they continue to do things that you have already expressed makes you uncomfortable, even if you're not uncomfortable with it, even if you're one of those women who likes to do the pranks too and you like to play fight, you're missing something that could possibly turn into abuse later. I'm just saying for a lot of you, for me, it's a red flag. But for some of you guys, it should at least be a yellow flag. If they start doing this and they don't lay off when you ask them to, it's going to turn into a red flag. So I would say be very careful with the play fighting, especially it depends on how aggressive they're getting. Like they're just coming and like choke slamming you and coming and like, you know, uh, tackling you and knocking you down like you're a football player and shit like that. And you're a whole woman. You're delicate as fuck. Even if you think you're tough. Even if you're strong, um, you know, that's just iffy. So it's going to be up to you. I'm just putting it out there for, for that. So that that's something that you guys can pay attention to. And don't ignore it. Like I said, it may just be a yellow flag where you're just cautious, right? But just pay attention to that. And the last thing, um, and this actually wasn't even on my list. I literally just thought of it, thought of it just now. Um, when you get pregnant, um, for the first time with a guy or whatever when you're pregnant i don't know if you guys know this i know a lot of people on youtube know this already the most dangerous time for a woman um and most vulnerable time is when she's pregnant the number one cause of death in pregnant women is homicide not falling down the stairs not a biking accident not a car accident not heart disease murder okay that is the number one cause of death in pregnant women. So a lot of times, this is that switch up. This is when women start to see, he never beat me before. You're pregnant, you're vulnerable, you can't go anywhere. And all of a sudden, he's going, oops, upside your head. Pregnancy is sort of kind of one of those things where it could be a red flag that segs way into, uh, into abuse. Or it could just be the most beautiful experience ever. And he's supportive and he loves you and all that. It's really 50-50 right um when you get pregnant and um the guy thought getting you pregnant was going to control you and for whatever reason you still on your square you still going to work you still making your own money you're still working from home you're one of those women that's pregnant one moment and then you're going to work and you come home and you're still doing things that you can move around and stuff and they see that it's not handicapping your life the way that they envision it a lot of times men get abusive because of that if you start being successful at things, you get a raise, you start a business, that will that can also lead a man to start abusing you. Like I said, nine times out of ten, physical abuse don't usually start as physical abuse. It starts with emotional abuse, mental abuse, backhanded compliments, you know, little, you know, picking at you, nitpicking with every little thing, trying to fuck with your confidence. You know, little shit. It starts mental and emotional like that. And then it segues into physical. So I would say pay attention to the way these men make you feel. Pay attention to your gut intuition. Pay attention to if they are possessive, jealous, if they're love bombing. If when you get pregnant, if they start calling you names, pay, a, the play, 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 pay attention to all of that. For some of y'all, like I said, it might not be a red flag, but it should at least be a yellow flag. Get out of these situations. I'm trying to tell y'all. People thought I was tripping when I said I left my ex because he called me a bitch. They're like, girl, really? Y'all was together for four years, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, these red flags are what needs to be seen. You have to catch them before it gets there. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and it's not victim blaming. I don't victim blame on my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm this. I love Kiki. I'm on her side. I was on her side the night she wore that fucking dress. Okay, I've been riding that dawn for Kiki ever since that dress. Right, but really since before that. But you know what I mean. Her glow up, her acting, just her whole career. So I'm not victim blaming. But I want this to be like some kind of lesson or some kind of warning. I would say for the women um, that these things can literally be uh something that saves you 
you can avoid some of this stuff. Now, I'm not saying she did avoid it or she couldn't avoid it or maybe she wasn't paying attention. She loved that man. She thought that man was fine as hell. She wanted him to have her baby. She argued with Steve about um, how she want her a regular guy. She, you know, regular smuggler dude. She don't want no Hollywood dude because they crazy or whatever she was saying. She has every right to feel that way. But, you know, sometimes you don't see the red flags. Some, the things that I'm mentioning, some people are going to see this and be like, I never would have thought of that. Now it makes sense. And that's what I, I just want to awaken something in you guys. I want uh, there to be some sort of uh, awakening moment or aha moment. Like, just open your eyes and just pay attention. That's it, right? I'm not an expert on this, but I do know uh, the potential abuse of type men when I see one. I'm just telling you that. From, from 10 miles away, I'm like, nah, mm-mm. I see him say certain things and I'm like, nah, nah, I don't like them. You know what I mean? These guys will find a way to try to ruin your life just because you don't want to fuck with them no more or because they can't control you or whatever. Pay attention to this stuff. Um, If I think of some more uh, potential signs, I'll do another part, like a part two or whatever to this video. But that's all for now. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think and I'll catch y'all in the next video.